so hello everyone welcome to the lecture on structure of an atom so first of all we'll discuss about the introduction about atom then how the atom structure has been studied by various scientists initially by dalton then by jj thompson then rutherford and then neil bohrs so when we move on to the introduction part of atom so in this universe everything is made up of matter so matter is thing but anything that occupies a space and has certain mass can be treated as matter so examples of matters are a small water glass, pen, a notebook, chair, and n number o, what not. Can imagine whatever um, materials or items which you can imagine. So those are all come under matters. So those matters are made up of tiny particles that are called atoms. So atom is actually the building part of any matter is called atom. And uh, many scientists have tried to study the structure of atom. And the scientist who first studied on atom is Dalton. So Dalton's atomic theory. So he is the first person in, 19, in 1803. He studied about the structure of atom, and that theory is called Dalton's atomic theory. And that theory starts about, uh, speaks about, according to Dalton, all matter is made up of small particles called atoms, and those atoms are invisible and indivisible. So they cannot be seen and they cannot be split. And atom can neither be created nor be destroyed. Atoms of an element are alike in all aspects. Atoms of different elements combine in different whole number region to ratio to form compounds. So these are the understanding of Dalton about atom. And uh, those understandings, I mean, uh, I mean, have further has been reproved by. So the drawbacks of Dalton is atom is indivisible phase, but later scientists prove that atom has many subatomic particles such as electron proton and neutron so the dalton's theory has been violated so and again atoms of same element can somehow differ from each other and uh, so those drawbacks has been justified by the next scientist called jj thompson and jj thompson has proved it proved this by an experiment called jj thompson experiment so he how he conducted the experiment is he has used a crookes tube and the, the figure is shown in the presentation so you can see that it consists of a cathode and an anode plate so cathode is a negative terminal and anode is a positive terminal so that is connected to a high voltage battery electricity source and the inside of the tube is made at low pressure i mean at absolutely low pressure we're using a vacuum pump so the gas inside the tube will experience a low pressure things so when a high voltage is applied to this cathode disc the gases get ionized and it, it moves towards the anode and it, it produces a, a luminescence on one side of the anode that says that some of the elect negatively charged particle is going to the anode side and the circuit does close and brings a green glow on this right side so this says that the negative charge there is some negative charge in the gas and those are called as cathode rays and that negative charge particles are called electrons so electron i mean jj thompson has discovered this electron and findings of this experiment is when electric current was passed through gas at low temperature and high voltage some rays were emitted through cathode and were traveling towards anode called cathode rays so those cathode rays have negatively charged particle and those particles are termed as electrons and uh, the again and we have protons so that is discovered by a scientist called goldstein and uh, see he has used the same experiment but he has reversed the process so where the anode side the, the the there is a ray which is generated on this anode side goes to the cathode side and those rays called canal rays so okay, since rays are uh, moving towards the positive side of sorry negative side of the circuit then those that gas should have some positive ions and that positive ions are called as protons so the e goldstein has uh, e goldstein is can discovered the protons so next is so rutherford model of atom so he has done a, he has done a remarkable experiment saying that the the structure of an uh, atom so he took a gold fluid a gold foil and he passed alpha rays through it as is shown in the figure alpha rays are positively charged consisting of helium nucleus and this a uh, fluorescent screen will get, will show some uh, ray means show some illuminance so that we can get some shadow of the past beam so he i mean he observed that 
uh, the the alpha rays which is directed to the gold floor some of the rays has directly uh, diffused into the uh, into the gold foil and and gets a radiation of light on on the on the side fluorescent screen and some has slightly deviated so slightly scattered and some of the particles largely scattered and some have re deflected so these are the observations of this uh, rutherford experiment and the findings of the rutherford experiment is such that some some i mean some particle of some of the alpha rays a small deflection some have a most large deflection and some have turned back almost so it says that the atom structure will be like this it has a center dense core that is called nucleus and that nucleus will be consists of neutron and proton and the outer orbits have some electrons so this was the finding of a further fold experiment so next when we move on to near bore so he has some of the findings where atom is electrically neutral and that is number of protons is equal to the number of neutrons and in center of the atom nucleus is present and uh, it has the outer uh, force has the outer shell has k l m and, and so forth so this is how this is happening and uh, so both theory has given you the energy levels of the various shells. thank you